Rishi Kapoor was one of the most popular romantic heroes of Bollywood. He came from an illustrious family of four generations of stars who were born to act, according to a biographer of the family. The Kapoor family hailed from Peshawar in modern-day Pakistan and migrated to India after partition in 1947. Rishi Kapoor's grandfather ran a prominent theatre company. His father, Ras Kapoor, was regarded as one of the greatest actors and directors in Bollywood. He was also called the showman of Indian cinema. Rishi Kapoor, or Chintu Sweet One, as his family called him, was forever youthful. He played a child sleeping on a coat in one of his grandfather's place. As a four-year-old, he appeared briefly in a romantic way danced song sequence in his father's film Sri 420 which he put debuted as a child actor in 1917 Nam Joker a film about the life of a clown and his romances the film directed by his father and produced by the family studio in Mumbai now Mumbai flopped at the box office but over time became one of the most watched Indian films when the film was being cast, I was at school. My father asked my mother if I was available to play the role. When I heard this, I was so thrilled. I ran into my room and started practicing my autograph, he told an interviewer later. In 1973, the then 20-year-old actor was drafted as the main lead in Bobby, a film made by his father. The musical love story of two city bred teenagers changed Kapoor's life. Bobby was a sensational hit at a time when Indian heroes were playing angry young men or tragic heroes. Kapoor's youthful vivacity and his on screen chemistry with the debutant heroine Dimple Kabadia enthralled the audience. Bobby was one of the most commercially successful films of the 1970s and was extremely popular in the erstwhile Soviet Union. Wells wrote letters in blood to Kapoor, mobbed him, and sported Bobby t shirts. The New York Times explained why the film was a success. Two new stars, musical numbers, when the story lacks a touch of socialism, an obvious appeal to younger audiences, some sexy scenes, violence, and three hours of extravagant escapism. The accent on youth is relatively new to Indian movies, whose performances are often older than the characters they portray. The misophysic added. Others agreed. Before Bobby, Indian cinema was about men and women, but after Bobby, it came about boys and girls. Bollywood superstar Shah Rukh Khan said in an interview, Working in more than 100 films, Rishi Kapoor had the longest run in Bollywood as a romantic lead from the 1970s to the late 1990s. Film journalist Dinesh Raheza found in a Mel Kitts fashion plate of the 70s. There is an image of me from the 1970s or 80s as a romantic star, a jersey clad tune humming cocky Casanova with a guitar in one hand and a girl in another. Kapoor wrote in his biography. He later said life changed for him after Bobby. I became a huge star and my attitude transformed into one of brash arrogance. Kapoor was also part of Bollywood's milestone film like Kabhi Kabhi, Amur, Akbar, Anthony, Naseeb, Kuli and Ajuba. He married actress Neetu Singh, with whom he acted in a bunch of breezy romances. Their son Ranveer Kapoor is one of Bollywood's top reigning stars now. In his middle age, Kapoor reinvented himself playing the roles of Abun, Krila, and quirky patriarchs, gangsters, and cameos in slapstick comedies. I'm having more fun now than in the first 25 years of my career. I used to be the leading man, singing songs and wooing leading ladies, dancing and running around trees, Kapoor told an interview in 2012.
Now I am enjoying myself and experimenting with rolls and discovering the actor within me. A fan of Dustin Hoffman, he once bought a ticket and booked a Rolls Royce to go and watch the Hollywood actor playing Shylock in the Merchant of Venice at London's West End. He met Hoffman backstage up to the play and then something happened which embarrassed him. When Hoffman was leaving, I saw him call for his Ford Escort. I was so embarrassed. I thought to myself, he's Dustin Hoffman and he's traveling in a Ford Escort. And I'm an upstar with not half as many achievements to my name. And I arrived in a Rolls Royce. Believe me, I was ashamed of my vanity that night. The poor said. Details of his larger than life personality of skin aired regularly in the tabloids and social media. He had his famous poor family witness for his fine whiskey and good food. With 3.5 million followers, Kapoor was prolific on Twitter, often make controversial remarks and inspiring with trolls. There were protests when he criticized the Gandhi family, who lead the Congress party now in desperate opposition, decrying their dynastic politics. Kapoor was known for his can-do. I'm still a student of cinema, he once said. I'm not qualified to do anything else. I'm not a well-educated man. I barely got out of school. So it's really luck that he has carried me this far. I want to be remembered as an actor who did his job with the most sincerity. Whiskey from BBC by Shuddha G. Tilak. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.